So, yeah, so, so far it's not, a, we're not up to a good start. The point, you know, like I wanted to go do some fast curvy roads, maybe try to get my knee down on the street, show you guys what I can do, but instead we didn't go onto the very curvy road, and this, this is a heavy bike, and it's not, you know, and it's not his, it's borrowed from a friend of his, so he, 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 he was taking it easy, which is the smart thing to do. And, um, yeah, so that's the Kawasaki Z1000, which is a very cool muscle bike, street bike, naked bike, whatever. This is a T-Max. It's a, it's, I think they're called like super, maxi scooters or super scooters. I don't think, I think it's called maxi, maxi scooters. Maxi. Which isn't that really cool of a name, really, because it kind of sounds like a maxi pad, right? And this is a Ninja 600. I like all the 600. It's, it's got some nice modifications. Carbon fiber rear. Change. I don't know if that's... It's Brembo. It's probably aftermarket brakes. And that's me editing out my license plate. Honey, <laughs> Shenji! Yeah, so... I thought, you know, like, my whole expectations for the day just changed. It was supposed to be this really cool mountain ride, and now it's changed into doing a road that I normally do that I don't like doing at this time of the day because there's a lot of police on it. on a website where they were talking about motorcycles and the and the uh, like the physics behind them and this is it's a cool website it's got a lot of good info about a lot of different topics and uh, one of the things that it said was it said uh, the rear tire is what keeps the motorcycle upright Therefore, like the, you know, the gyroscopic force of the rear wheel, not the front. Therefore, you should never uh, lock up the rear. And they said the front actually isn't that bad. And they said this is opposite of what most people think. And I'm like, what the fuck? They're saying it's okay to lock up the front and not okay to lock up the rear. Does that make any sense to anyone who rides? You know, and they're, they're, they explained the physics behind it and it sounded okay. But if you actually ride a bike, you know that locking up the rear... <laughs> it's not that bad. They, they, uh, this is interesting. They also, I, I wonder why you slowed down so much there. And it's because we got to the leader. It's, it's actually, it seems really bad manners to pass the leader. So, yeah, but anyways, like, I've, as you've seen, I've locked up the rear twice, and I've even got some decent wobbling effect from doing so. But, uh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I've, like, I've locked, if I wanted to, like, lock it up and not wobble, I could. I could just, uh, I just need a straighter road. Both times that I locked it up, the road, I was actually turning just a tad, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, if I wanted to, uh, but, yeah, like, I've, I've like, I'm not saying you should do it. I'm sure there is some danger involved. I'm just saying it's not, you know, it's, if I were to lock up the front right now, <laughs> good luck. Let's try, shall we? No, let's not. If I lock up the front tire right now, I just go down, like, pretty much instantaneously. The bike just, boom, falls on its side doing whatever speed it is that I'm doing. It's really bad manners to pass the leader. I'm not sure why though.
camera. I was gonna 